Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Warrior video. Because today we're going to be talking about the Fago Thanksgiving special, where we finally know the information coming for it. So yeah, I'm going to go over it, give some thoughts about it, and also some other stuff that is potentially coming up forward. There was a lot of stuff. If you don't know why this happened, it's because of uh, an anime expo in New York, I think is what is going on here. So yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like comment down below how this changes your like if you're gonna summon on these characters or not the funny thing is that this is a banner that is usually whoa sorry about that I heard that some movement this is a banner that is usually exclusive to North America so usually it ruins some people's plans because you can't really plan for it all right let's get into it so first things first as you can see here this is going to be the banner units which we'll talk about a little bit later but if you're curious it looks like the units that will be on rotation are Skahak, Okita, Horseman, I forget I can never pronounce the Chinese name so forgive me on that one but he is the Chinese berserker man, uh, Moriarty, Nero, Jack, and Waver's sister who I believe is called Reigns. There you go. Remember, I, did, I haven't seen Case Files yet, so sometimes I can forget uh, the name from time to time. So let's go in. So first things first, log in three times, counted once per day, to receive up to three sync quartz. So that's around nine. Alright. Nah, it's something. It's not too bad. The other thing, some battle sprites have been uh, updated a little bit early. First, Okita. Next is uh, Skahawk over here. And then Jack the Ripper. This, the, the Skahawk one is actually very interesting because she has an entire, like, fess coming next year, but I guess they decided why wait a year and kind of... It's actually very curious how they decided to do that. Is that Usually I think the characters who have animations tied to, like, specific events, they like to hold on to them. But for this one, they're like, no, nah, let's just release it now. Very interesting. Maybe it's because she she's the poster child for Thanksgiving. I want to say she's been on every single Thanksgiving banner since the first. <laughs> So at this point, this may as well be her events as well. So next, limited time Thanksgiving 2021 missions. Clear all missions to receive the command code 3R, the one bearing fortune, and the command card enhancement material, beast footprint, and other valuable rewards. Here it is with the very good Rio art, which is very good. <laughs> um, all very nice. Next, Ember Gathering daily quest AP cost halved limited time. Uh, for limited time, member quests will be halved. So, here are the days. Pretty obvious. Next, two times chance of super and great success. Free servants and craft essence enhancements. Limited time. Should be very helpful. Um, I kind of wish that something like this was probably coming around the time of there being the, um, the lotto event. But maybe based off of how long this lasts, hopefully maybe the lotto event will start around this time. But hey, we'll see. Okay, next, let us go here. Here's something that they announced actually in the broadcast himself from Anime New York, uh, New York City. So, details will be announced on November 30th. This is going to be the time for the Lost Belt, the next Lost Belt live stream, basically, which is Atlantis. On the 30th, they're going to talk about it. So this is when most people are assuming we're going to start moving towards Atlantis stuff. Um, I was going to say the problem with that, it's not really a problem. Uh, it is a little bit early from what most people expect. Let me go here. Yeah, this will make most the most sense. Go here. Go down to here. So as you can see here, um, Christmas comes first. And then the actual lead up to Atlantis doesn't start until December 18th. Jesus, no, no, December 11th, so that's way early, it's super crazy early, so early in fact, um, it made most people think like, hey, maybe this is going to come first and we're actually going to have Christmas on Christmas, uh, and then it turned out, nope, because as you can see right here, Nightingale's Christmas Carol is announced, coming at some point, they don't really give a date, they just said, you can't see it on here unfortunately, but let me just say, it says, the limited time event, Christmas 2021, Nightingale's Christmas Carol was announced. They didn't give a date though, so who knows when it actually is going to be. But you can see here, this is how it's originally supposed to go. It's supposed to go Christmas 2019, and then 
big old gaps. Interlude campaign, which we have now, so we got this early. Then Atlantis pre-release campaign, 16,000 day anniversary, which we already had. Atlantis Lost Belt release, and then basically end the year on nothing. Because this is the last big banner of uh, the year, basically, when Atlantis hits. So that's very interesting. So we can look back here. Yeah, so this one we know for sure it's coming from 24th to December 4th. We know for a fact that Atlantis starts on the 30th, in theory. If they start doing the pregame then, the when the, then when does this happen? I think this probably happens the 24th. I think that's actually legitimately when we will get it. And that's what my current like random guess here is that this event will start in the middle of this one. The reason being is that... Um, the Lotto event actually goes very well with the two times great success rates and stuff like that. So that make, kind of makes sense to me for it to kind of go at the same time. It's still really early and if I would have preferred it, I would prefer Christmas to come later. Honestly, they, what they should be doing is rerunning Samba, but they don't want to because Japan has it. And Japan uh, skipped it because various reasons that are too complicated to get into and there's a lot of misinformation about, but the basic thing is that they had to skip it and it's probably coming at a later date. We just don't know when the later date is because Fago is a game where <laughs> they will take over two years to release something again. Rest in peace, the people who did not get Arjuna Alter on his banner this year, you're not getting him for another two years or so. He has not had a solo rate up banner since then. Man, rough times. Um, Let's actually look at the things here. Just to show the quartz, animation updates. Here you go, here's the summoning campaign. Zhang, Zhang Yu, is I think how you would pronounce that name? Hmm. Sima Yi reigns. Anyway, I really, in terms of these units, just to look over them real quick. Of course, if one of these units is one of your favorites, I suggest going for them. There's a lot of good to be had in, I think, all of these units in some way or another. Um, Jack, for example, is a fantastic single target assassin. Uh, Zhang is a good AoE quick. Nero is very good at being a buster caster, and she's also able to eliminate her class disadvantage against uh, rider foes, which is, it can be useful. I think in general she releases, oh god, let me see the wording on it. I think it's in general she doesn't suffer, she doesn't get any... Ignores own defense class at advantages, so it takes 1x damage from riders, berserkers, and alter egos. Very good. It's a very good effect. A very powerful effect, actually. <laughs> Which is why she's the only one I think who has that effect. Because if more units had it, it'd be kind of nuts. Um, I think, and there's not a lot of good AoE uh, caster units, so getting any of them is a godsend. Uh, Reigns is a very good support unit once she has all her strengthening stuff up. Um, very useful, for sure. Uh, Skahawk over here. She's very good for single target Lancer. I'm gonna be honest here, I've used her since I got her on day one. From, I think it was a random ticket pull. And she has always been able, uh, she's been basically handle any challenge quest you can throw at her. She can do all of them except unless you're fighting a saber foe. She very rarely needs um, buffs, and the one buff she is getting is she's going to get around her festival time, which is, I think, a buff to this, which charges their MP a little bit, and then also increases buff success rate. The worst thing about her is the fact that this skill is 80% uh, chance, 80%, and using this gives her up to a full-on 100% chance of activating both. That's the only negative I could say about her, but they kind of fix with her with that. Uh, her NP also always has a stun, <laughs> so it almost always stuns. It's really good. I think she's a fantastic character. We're well worth getting. Um, Moriarty is also, I think, a little bit um, not appreciated, I think, is the right word for it. I think he has some interesting stuff that people kind of ignore. As you can see here, ignores invincibility, ignores defense, increases on crit star store absorption, gains crit stars 20. It's pretty good at level 10. This is a really cool ability, which it grants the party evil alignment, except for self, for three turns. 50% and gives himself 50% NP, increases on NP damage. Um, the reason he needs that is because his skill right here, it buffs evil alignment foes even more. 
not foes, it further increases the attack of allies with evil alignment, except for him. So it ends up getting a 40% attack boost to uh, evil alignment, and with this you can kind of have the entire team be evil. And I don't know, I really like the idea of that. I think it's really cool. Um, this is also a single, single target. Buster, so you know, Buster Gorilla kind of stuff. Even though he does have three arts cards, which means he's not actually a Buster Gorilla, because a Buster Gorilla has three Buster cards and a Buster NP. My bad. The only exception to that is um, Orion, who is a Buster Gorilla with only two... Oh, with um, a arts uh, NP, which is really funny. But anyway, I digress. I think all these characters are available. And Oki Okita. She's Okita. Very cute. Saberface. Guts loves her. So all these units are definitely well worth pulling if you're a big fan of them, and if you're someone who's like badly saving, then you know for a fact who you're saving for. If you're someone who's here going like, I don't know if I want to summon for them, but if you're here saying, if you're going to tell me, don't summon on them because Orion's coming, then you don't need, <laughs> this isn't for you. <laughs> you already know that Orion's super crazy busted, it is I think technically better than all of them. But sometimes people just want to pull for their favorite, so I'm all there for it. I'm all here for it. Uh, pull on who you want. I support you and I wish you the best of luck. I don't need to be summoning on this because I think the only two units I really badly need are Okita and Nero. And the rest I'm kind of saving for in case um, I get them on GSSR, I'll be happy. It's one of those type of servants, you know what I mean? One of those servants that I definitely want for those reasons, but I'm also not necessarily pulling on them. Except for Zhang Yu, I think... He might be the only one you shouldn't pull for because he's not limited. Same thing goes for Jack, but that's still, you know, this is your only chance that they're going to be featured, and it's very hard to pull them when they're not featured, so it is what it is on that uh, specific notion. So yeah, that's kind of everything coming for Thanksgiving. Some good stuff. Going to be interested to see how they handle the disparity between these two. If it's 100% the same... Then this is coming first, and then this. And if you're wondering, well, what's when is this coming out? I assume it's going to be around Thanksgiving special. There's no way that they announce this, and then... Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to kind of release it at the same time, but... I digress. Um, there's still plenty of other... Again, there's an Atlantis, like, setup for people who need to get to Atlantis. So there's always going to be that step. So it doesn't mean that the actual Lost Belt itself is dropping right away on the 30th. You probably have to wait a little bit longer than that, but... All right, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, as always, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about any of the things I talked about here, and I will see you guys in the next video. I wish you the best of luck if you end up summoning, by the way. Good luck. And until next time, bye-bye. Good night.